Hello and welcome. Today I am going to show you how to make a delicious pumpkin bread that's also going to help you clear your skin because you may think that in order to get clear skin you have to give up all the foods you love but that is not the case and this pumpkin loaf is a perfect example. So I am going to share the recipe with you and let's get going. So first of all, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. If you have any questions at all, pop them in the comments section below. And now let's get started with the dry ingredients for our pumpkin bread. So first we're gonna add a cup and a half of blanched almond flour. And this is important because almonds are a great source of fiber, a great source of protein, and it's going to help balance your blood sugar. And you may think that almond flour is super expensive, but that's not the case. I actually got this at Costco and I wanna show you the bag so you can get it as well. Big bag, almond flour, super affordable, and also really important on your clear skin journey. So we're gonna put the almond flour in the bowl. The other dry ingredients that I have, I have a teaspoon of salt, or half a teaspoon of salt, three quarter teaspoon of baking soda. I'm gonna pop that in there as well. And for my salt, I use Himalayan, pink Himalayan sea salt, just because it has so many great minerals in it. So putting that in. Okay, moving on, we have the spices. And the spices are so important when it comes to making a really good pumpkin loaf. I'm crazy about cinnamon because cinnamon actually helps balance your blood sugar. And instable blood sugar and insulin are one of the root causes of acne. So I've put two tablespoons of cinnamon in here. I've also put half a teaspoon of ground cloves and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. And I wanna share a little tip with you or a little bit of info. Nutmeg is actually a hallucinogenic drug, so don't use too much of it. So I'm gonna pop this in here. Okay, and then the sweetener, which is a really, really important thing. What I'm putting in, I'm putting in a quarter cup of xylitol. This is xylitol right here. And what xylitol is, it's an alcohol sugar. Now alcohol sugars do not spike your blood sugar levels. They do not spike your insulin levels as much as other regular sweeteners do. So it's incredibly important. If you have acne, use something like that. But another thing I wanna say is do not eat too many foods that are sweetened with, with um, alcohol sugars either, because just when your tongue detects a sweet taste, it's going to release insulin into your bloodstream immediately. That's called a cephalic insulin response. So limit your sweet foods, but a little bit here and there is totally fine. So I'm putting the xylitol into the dry, the dry ingredients, and I'm just going to mix these dry ingredients together, making sure you don't have any lumps. Obviously, I mean, that's kind of baking 101, right? <laughs> okay, this is looking pretty good. Okay, now we're going to move on to our wet ingredients. And I'm just gonna create a little well in the center of my dry ingredients that I'm gonna pop my wet ingredients into once they're ready. Okay, so moving on to my wet bowl, I have four eggs in here, four organic eggs, and I've just kind of like whisked them together lightly. And now I am putting, and the eggs are important because they're a great source of protein. There's also some great vitamins, great minerals and eggs as well. If you have eczema and psoriasis, I would avoid using eggs, and you can use flax eggs instead, which is really a mixture of flax, ground flax seed and water. That could be a substitute, but if you don't have an eczema or psoriasis, use the eggs. Unless you're vegan, of course. <laughs> okay, and then we are going to add one cup of pumpkin puree. Now, pumpkin is delicious, but it's also, as you can see, orange. And when a food is orange, it means it has a lot of beta carotene in it. And beta carotene converts into vitamin A in your body, and it is incredibly important for healthy and clear skin. So, you know, this is a fantastic source of vitamin A. So I'm gonna add this into my wet ingredients with my egg, putting it all together. I love having my ingredients all pre-measured out. It makes 
makes baking so fast. Wow, I'm never this fast. I'm always like running around from cupboard to cupboard, putting things away. And then of course, vanilla. Who doesn't love some vanilla for taste? I'm going to put half a teaspoon in. Usually I just dump a bit in, but I'm actually gonna measure it because I'm showing you how to do something. All right. So now, just mixing together my wet ingredients. Whisk it, and you guys, this is going to be so moist. You aren't going to believe it. Sometimes if I have a little bit of extra pumpkin, I'll pop it in too, because to me, a pumpkin loaf can never, ever be moist enough. Okay, so I've got my pumpkin, my egg, and my vanilla mixture nice and smooth. There we go. And now I'm going to add it to my dry mixture. There we go. And I am going to mix everything together. I'm not gonna to mix it too much. I'm just going to mix it until everything is well combined. And this takes really no time at all. It's already smelling really good. The cloves and the nutmeg are amazing. Don't try taking nutmeg as a hallucinogenic drug. You will hallucinate, but you will also vomit and have extreme nausea that will last for days. I've never tried it, so I can't even tell you what it's like, but it doesn't sound like it's very pleasant. Just as a little aside. <laughs> Not that you were looking for that information. Okay, so everything is all mixed up, and now I am going to place it into my loaf pan, which I've already lined with parchment paper. So I'm ready to go, and I'm just popping every, putting it in here, the pumpkin loaf mixture, and I have preheated my oven to 350 degrees. So it's warm and it's ready to go. And I am a really casual baker and cook. I'm like not really super concerned about, you know, everything looking perfect, which can be good and which can be bad, I guess, too. Getting it all in there. Okay. I will just spread it out so it doesn't look totally crazy because it did look a little crazy there. Okay, so, well, that's probably not a good idea, is it? <laughs> okay, it's ready to go. So I'm gonna pop this in the oven now for about 45 minutes on 350. And when it comes out, I'm gonna show you how amazing it actually looks and tastes. And here we go, the clear skin pumpkin loaf. Not only is this delicious, but it is going to help you clear your skin. And if you are suffering with acne, you have to check out my clear skin masterclass. I'm going to share my five secrets to clear skin and other tips that you will not learn anywhere else so you can get rid of your acne for good. Link below, enjoy your pumpkin bread, and I'll see you next time.